Scott, we'll come to the playoffs in a second, but this afternoon, do you feel the shots deserve, deserve something from this? Yeah. Um, you say when it was 1 all, there was only one team pressing. That, that was the way it was going to be because they only needed a draw, so they weren't necessarily going to go out and, and try and get another one because they didn't need it. Um, and I thought the longer the, the game went on, the more pressure we, we built, and we just needed one chance to fall. And if that went in, then it could have been a completely different story. But um, yeah, they. they I think it's a start from a goal kick and they worked it across the pitch. A little bit of lack of uh, communication on our behalf and it's ended up in our goal. Um, but it is what it is, like you say. It's not a result we wanted, but um, yeah, we got to dust ourselves down and we got two uh, cup finals to come before we reach the big one now. Clearly, the aim this afternoon, the only aim really was to, was to go for the victory, but did the fact that Sutton only needed a draw affect your thinking in the way that you approach the game, that that they may sit back a little bit? Um, not really, we just we were more worried about what we were going to do and we knew what we had to do to try and get the win uh, and obviously, but like I said, when it was 1-0 you could only really see one team trying to get on top of that uh, and obviously unfortunately for us and fortunately for them, they, they got the all important for third goal which obviously killed the game a little bit and uh, they sort of, got, uh, sort of game out relatively well, we had a couple of half chances at the end of that, but yeah, like I say, a draw still wouldn't have made a difference to us, so we were, just, we were obviously disappointed that we didn't win the game. Your penalty brought the team level, started what we hoped would, would be a comeback. When you're standing there, the ball's on the spot, faced by the goalkeeper, a thousand and however many shots fans behind you, what's going through your mind? Can we go and take kick-off straight away? <laughs> uh, you know what I'm like to give home. Probably the most confident penalty taking you've ever you've had here. Um, yeah, and it, I love them situations. They're brilliant. I love the mind games that people try and play. But only one person's got it right so far in my career against me. So I'm more than happy to keep going. Love love the banter, and obviously, like I say, I just wanted the game to restart quickly. There's no there's no thought in your mind, even a tenth of one percent, that this might not go in because it. When it goes into that bottom corner, it's almost in off the post. No goalkeeper saving it. No. If you want to stand still like he, like he did today, there was, you, can't, you can't get there. It's not physically possible if he wants to stand still and try and wait. There's no way you can get there. I've told, said many times before, there's different, there's different uh, methods to get through that or round it from my point of view and his point of view. So it's a game of chess if you like penalties, but I've got my way and, I, and I'm sticking to it. It does seem to work indeed, and at that point the momentum was building, Fabian had come on and was starting to make a real impact. It's, was was there the belief in that in the team that at that point that you were going to go on and get the winner? Yeah, like you say, there was, it was kind of sustained pressure, they had the odd ball into our half, but yeah, it was, it was kind of half chance after half chance, and obviously Fab had one at the end, but it was already 2-1 then. Um, and, but yeah, it was just building and building, and we had obviously we have great belief in our, in our dressing room because we've scored so many late goals throughout the season so we know that we're capable of it and we, we keep going right to the end and the longer that game stayed one all, they were only going to get deeper and deeper try and slow the game down and, and they're happy for a draw because that would have been exactly what they wanted um, which, is, which is fair enough so we it was obviously the goal killed it with 10 minutes to go or wherever it was it was because I think it was set up for a, a great 10 minutes to finish It wasn't to be so it's on to Wednesday night Ebbsfleet United at, at the Ebb Stadium. At home, the team have got to be confident of taking on anybody. Yeah, it's brilliant. What a game to play in. Like I say the playoffs started today, uh, but luckily for us, we get another chance because now we've got, like I said, we've got two cup finals before we actually get to the cup final. And in front of the lights at, at, at the wreck, it's going to be a special occasion, especially for us players. The fans are going to come in their numbers, I'm sure, uh, create a fantastic atmosphere, and it's going to be a great game. And um, what better place? for the rewards for us after because of obviously everything that happened last year obviously we're not overlooking absolutely that's for sure but that carrot dangling is a it's a trip to Tranmere and we got some rights to uh, correct up there from last year so I'm sorry and that's it it, it doesn't matter you've, you've got to beat the best teams whether it's in the eliminators the semi-final or at Wembley so you this path that Aldershot Town now face holds no fears for you no absolutely not um, we're looking forward to it we're at home we're going to have a big crowd, it's going to be loud, it's going to be lively, under the lights, what better uh, place to play football, especially in the playoff game, with so much on it, it's a one-off game now, it's not a, it's not a, we can take a draw and maybe nick an away goal kind of game, it's a ball out, you need to win games and that's what you're in football for, um, 
and yeah, we need to focus now all our actions and all our uh, all our minds straight on to Wednesday night now. And that's when the team are at their best, when they're on the front foot, really taking the game to the opposition. Yep, uh, quick starts in their face, high pressing, quick quick ball. Um, like I say, I'm sure Gaffer said it many times, and many players have. That's that's when we're at our best. So that's what we need to uh, bring back out Wednesday night. Excellent. We're excited already. Thank you, Scott.